Hello, I just wanted to welcome all my new subscribers. Um, I didn't know that my last video was going to go down so well and there have just been so many lovely comments. I've been really touched by it. And a lot of you, so I was demonstrating the leaf prints and a lot of you really liked the book and wanted a demonstration of that. So that's what I'm going to do. I was slightly um, making it up as I went along and I was just using materials that I found. And it was quite a laboursome way of doing it. So I tried to hone it down um, to make it easier for anybody else who wants to do the same. So that was the first book I made. I'm basing the size on the gel plate that I used to make these prints. They've just been cut down a little bit and they're all 14 centimetres square. So as many pages as you want. And the important thing is you've got to have pattern on either side. So you can either print on both sides or what I did, I found lots of other material that I'd already printed and I cut them out and glued them on the back. So I've gone for sort of quite graphic design so you can do it how you like. You can do the same pattern or you can do something quite contrasting. It's entirely up to you, you get a different effect. So these are all the things you'll need to make a concertina book in this style. Um, as many pages as you like in, as I've already said, 14 centimetres squared. You need two bits of cardboard to make the covers um, the same dimensions. You need paper to cover the covers, so it can be plain, it can be patterned. I've already done one side, but I'm going to put a brighter one on the front. And you need a piece of paper that's 14 centimetres wide by 32 centimetres long. And you're going to, as you can already see, you're going to want to make quite narrow folds in it. So you don't want this to be too thick, but it's got to be strong enough to hold the pages. So a good quality cartridge paper is good. And then you need glue. I either use a glue stick or PVA glue. PVA glue can make things quite wet, so that's why I quite often like to use a glue stick. And then it really helps if you've got some sort of burnisher to help you with the folds. This is a purpose one, but I find a use, if you haven't got that, you can use the handle of scissors. You just want something with a bit of a curve and it's quite strong. And then extra paper to do the other side of your piece of card. The first step is to make your boards for the front and the back. And for the neatest possible way, you wrap it first for the inside and then you attach the outside on top. And to make it neat, you just have to cut off at these corners and you want to go closer than you think to the, to the outside points and that will give you the um, neatest finish. So I'm just going to cut these end bits off with you also need a sharp knife but be very careful so you've cut off your corners and then what you're going to do is glue these pieces over these won't be seen so it doesn't matter how even they are on the inside but you do want to get the sides nice and neat if that's important to you and to, if you're going to use PVA I find the easiest way is just to put a little bit on a palette and use a synthetic brush So you put that one side to dry. So in order to make your concertina, we're going to fold it over and burnish and then open it. 
take each side over to the middle. And then you're going to take the inner sides back out again. And do the same thing. And now you want to half each one again. So the easiest way is to do one at a time. You need to decide beforehand which is going to be your outside and which is going to be your inside because this is going to be your first, this is going to be where you attach the covers. So we've got now got seven points and that will make our pages. So you need seven cards and decide what order you want to see them in and remember you're going to see the reverse as well so now i'm going to stick them and because i'm going to be gluing right to the end i put a piece of scrap paper down so what you're going to do is you're going to attach it to this side That's the first one done. Right, and what I'd do now is I'd weigh it down under some books and wait for it to dry. Okay, so I've left that for about 10 minutes. That's stuck down well. So now we just want to add our end boards up.
So um, I hope you'll have a go. You can use anything to make these. It doesn't even, even have to be your own prints. There are lots of, there are lots of different variations of flag books. Um, I've got an idea of using some photographs in one, so I'll, I'll make a video of that at a later date. Um, but I hope you'll have a go and I'd love to see what everybody makes. So please share. You can always find me on Instagram and tag me there. So thanks very much for watching and join me again soon in the studio or in the garden.